guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting Rune to the final episode of season one of I Cut to Friends. God, you know, if I still had my old channel, <laughs> my first channel, we would have had all 50 videos up for the first time in the I Cut to series for ever since I reacted to the show. But no, things happen and stuff. So we're going to watch the finale. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. We end in the season with an argument. Oh, so she was going to make an appearance in this episode. Oh my god. But this is your last episode. Yeah. Pure palette? Mm-hmm. God, this is the last time I'm going to hear this song, too. Because on Thursday, when it's Sunday, my time, not Saturday, Sunday, we'll get a new song. And then I got to learn that song. And it's going to take me probably about five, ten episodes. <laughs> oh, BTW, if any of you are subscribed to Pixie Lock, she went to the Aikatsu star and... They had Mew's outfit. Oh my god, I want it so bad. I would love to recreate it. <laughs> that still doesn't taste the same. Maybe it's my taste buds. <laughs> What's up? They're already fighting? Ugh. The heck, guys? I mean, we're only three minutes into the dang episode. It's like, nope. Oh, they fought before. Oh. Mm -mm, look at you, your nose is red. Meal sick. I mean, I can understand, you know, getting upset about that. Yes. Mio. Oh. Oh. 
Mio. Oh god. That's why you guys are fighting. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like <laughs> Micah and Emma had to deal with it a couple of times. I know. It's stupid, but hey, you're friends and you're gonna fight over stupid things. <laughs> so look, it's now time for you and her to make up. It was just something that you decided. <laughs> yeah. Well, dang, Cody. Do I have a phone on? Yeah. No, 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 it's there. See, thank you. That's good. They're having everybody come in this last episode because it felt a little weird not to have everybody in the first finale for season one i mean like did i cut two stars to it i feel like they didn't and i feel like they didn't like i cut two did it we all know that because it ended with mizuki leaving ichigo leaving i i mean i know i was crying i was crying <laughs> Yeah, and this will be the last episode where she'll have um her star pin because she's gonna have a wing pin, and then Aine's hair is supposed to be like more um fuller in a way. She's supposed to have she's kind of gonna have like the curls like um you made it during the second season. It makes me wonder if they're gonna like change Emma's hair and Micah's hair, um, and Saki Kaguya's hair. Excuse me.
Go on. Yeah, honestly. I mean, she's too friendly, but that's okay. That's what we love about her. Bye. I mean, Mira, I need some tea. <laughs> Come on. That is true. See, I kind of wish they would do another episode about weight issues. You did it once in OGI cut, so you can do it again. God, I remember watching that. That hurt me so bad. Well, the people need to know. Oh, Mio. A little bit. But Mio needed to hear that. Here we go. A gift for a love me dear. Oh. 
It would have been nice if Lovely Tear performed one last time, I'm just saying, but you know, it's okay. So then what the heck are they going to perform? They're, I mean, like, oh, I don't know. It could literally be anything. I mean, it is the last episode of season one. I don't know. But they're using their classic outfits, so. The Aikatsu step song, probably. Maybe, I don't know. Something if they like you know they could just perform a love me tear song and to end it and you know because I would like that that'd be nice I mean heck Idol Master Cinderella Girls is now doing covers of song and you know they could do it too it'd be nice I I'm about to sing the Ron damn song. <laughs> I was about to sing. <laughs> I was about to do the circle move. <laughs> but I was like, no, that's stars. <sighs> Oh my god, my heart. Hi, Cody. Okay. Well. Those four are now officially in high school. Aww. Aww. Hmm? Mio's in the picture? <laughs>
There she goes. It's okay to cry. I swear to God, they better meet up in season two. We're gonna have problems if they don't. I mean, hey, it was a good way. Oh my god, this is the last time we're going to hear this song, too. It was a good way to end season one, just bringing it all back together. Yeah, let's have a fight, but still, friends. That's all that matters. It was sweet, though. I mean, god, I, I really am going to miss Mirai and Karen together, even though, like, I, I think Mirai is going to be in the second season, maybe a little bit more than Karen because of reasons, maybe? But I am excited to see the two, not the two, the three new girls. The girl who looks like Elsa, the girl who kind of looks like Junko from um, Zombieland Saga, and then this mysterious girl who you don't really, well, all three we don't know anything about. So, but yeah, I miss this song already too. Like, oh God, it was good. Really good. I'm just sad that season one's over, but hey, you can watch it whenever you feel like it. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know what to expect for season two. I mean, just, it's something about jewels now. So I'm guessing the jewels are supposed to be like the wings that we had for stars and um, the special dresses that you would get in OG. I got to possibly, maybe, I'm not 100% sure, but it could literally be like anything. <laughs> Just, you know, make me happy. Make me cry. Make me upset for some, oh my god, a year later? Yeah, because they're in high school now. Look at her hair! Mm -hmm. Look at her hair! Oh my god, it's so pretty! Snowflake? The Junko looking girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then what are we gonna do? We gonna see something with fire and the Elsa looking chick? Uh, space? Uh, okay. There's the Elsa looking chick. I mean, with the outfit on, she kind of looks like Zero, too. Yeah. So, literally, I have no idea what to expect for this second season, but, you know, they both look nice. Heavenly perfume? I get her hair! The idol outfit. Oh. Well, okay. All right. Hold up. Wait. 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 We going into 51, aka episode one of season two, and I'm sitting here. Let's go back a couple of minutes. How I'm sitting here like, yeah, you know, it's going to be probably a while till we see Mirai and Karen, you know, in the same scene, in the same room together. Like, we're probably going to see Mirai a lot more than Karen because Karen's, you know, going around the world with her um administrator um, I mean not administrator ambassador for Aikatsu and then she in the freaking the tree be like hello I mean uh, oh god I don't know what to expect but okay so the redhead girl with the tone the red and like an orangey because her hair looks like fire honestly and it, she looks gorgeous I will say that yes like number one like immediately I think the first time when I saw her render of her picture and stuff and then the poster, I think this is like when, I want to say mid-October, 
or November is when we saw, when we got the first look for everything. Um, she, like, even now, she does give me a lot of feels towards Elsa. I think she will be the brand new Elsa because I specifically look at her. I think her, um, her catchphrase is, it's showtime. So she's giving me a little feel to Persona 5 for Joker. And I do love that. Um, so... She's, of course, is fire. And then the girl who looks like Junko from Zombieland Saga is very much ice because she's in this ice castle and stuff. But, like, seeing Aine's hair, like, very flowy and stuff. I mean, it's a little bit of feels like when, um, when Akari-chan came in and Akari-chan had her hair, um, it was short, like a little bob in a way, but she had, like, a little, um, pigtail on the side, which was adorable. And then season four came... And she went from this cute little bob to this long, gorgeous, luscious hair. And she just looked so much more mature. And I feel like it's going to be like that with, um, with Aine in a way. Aine is the... I mean, Aine and Mio, they are both the main characters. But I still feel like Aine is that number one. Because we've always had a focus on the pink hair. Or not the pink hair. The, um, the cute idol. Even though Mio is... They're, they're a package deal. Mio, I mean, her hair looks nice. Her hair looks good, too. Her, her, I like her little bread. It's cute now. It looks so pretty, but they both just look mature. I mean, we're it's a year later. It's different, and a lot of things are going to happen and come with this show. I feel like it's just going to, it's going to up it, rub it up a notch, like probably like over a thousand, but a lot of things I'm guessing is going to go down. I'm wondering how the jewel aspect is going to uh, play a role in the second season. Um, I'm hoping that we get more girls besides her, Junko, and then the brown-haired looking girl. Um, what I'm also confused about, too, is typically, let's go back to OG Aikatsu and let's go back to Stars. By the first season, we have one school, and then by the time we get into season two, there's another school. There is no school for the start of this you just got an idol from space and it makes me wonder okay is the school in space like why were you up in space for a year a whole year so what was you doing there the whole entire time because it, it looks like that and then you have the junko looking girl who is stuck in an ice castle well, i mean yeah we're not an ice castle but just a castle what the heck are you got like fire and ice confuse explain like what the heck is going on like that's all i want to know but yeah, they're, they're both lovely. I want to know who their voice actresses are and stuff because, like, I'm still crazy about the fact that, you know, you got freaking Ichika from Kitty Kitty Pretty Girl in Mode. I don't know the rest of the voice actors from the series besides, the, like, a lot of the people are previous voice actors from the previous Aikatsu series, which that's Coco, I know, Coco, um, Kata and Mirai. And then you're wondering about the rest of the girls because, like, I feel like I've heard Aine's VA somewhere and same thing with Mio. I mean, you got the girl from Asabi Asabase and freaking Cinderella Girls now. So, like, literally anyone. Because, like, everyone, like, sings. And I love that. But, like, mm, I don't know. Just, it was good. It was really, really good. And I'm really hopeful for Sunday when the episode comes out for me that anything could happen. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction and review towards episode 50 of I Cut You Friends. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matcha Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all on Sunday for episode 51 or season two. Bye, guys.